fly away. Houston, Texas is home to SmackDown action tonight. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Absolutely, Cole. And you know what? I've always wanted to say this. Houston, we got a problem. Actually, we don't have a problem because SmackDown's in town. You've got that right, partner. The Space City loves SmackDown, and the superstars are not going to let them down. these superstars go at it, and that is just about the last place you want a ring rope. Just about? I'll tell you what, if you could think of a worse one, I'd love to hear it. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. And injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy picking. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. I'm all in favor of freedom of expression, whether I agree with what they're saying or not. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? That'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your gap for a few seconds, then I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. There's the submission hold. I've seen a lot of superstars tap out for this one, Cole. You and me both, partner, and we might be about to see another one right here. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. You know, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. And you know what, Cole? If you're gonna get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you gotta do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then, that's just the way to cook your problem. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. Candace might still be pretty inexperienced, but I gotta say, I'm impressed with her development <laughs> so far. You gotta be kidding me. I don't think I've ever seen her win a match without cheating. Hey, Paul, you know what? You got enough disadvantage when it comes to picking up women. You don't need to be bad-mouthing them, too. Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never claim to be completely objective, Taz. It's no secret I respect superstars who stick within the rules and show some sportsmanship in the ring. You gotta understand, Cole. I know it ain't exactly kosher, but you're putting your body on the line in there. You gotta do whatever it takes to protect yourself and help the Taz, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal a victory and enhance your own career is something completely different. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right, Taz. They pay for their tickets after all. Superstar!